A great hello from Zermatt and we are very much looking forward to welcoming you soon here at the destination at the foot of the Matterhorn. So to show you a little bit around, let, follow me. So here we are at the beginning of the main street. There, it's a very lively um, street. You will find a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. And at the moment, due to the situation, it's closed, but we do have a lot of um, safety measurements. And as soon as everything reopens, there you will find a lot of interesting things. You will have nice food, from Swiss food to international food. You have really nice shops, from sports gear to watches. So let's come and have a look. So in Zermatt you have a lot of possibilities to stay um, or where you can spend your overnight. In the back you see the Grand Hotel Zermatterhof, it's one of our five star hotels. But there are also from two stars to five star hotel, you will find anything uh, what you wish for. So in Zermatt you have a lot of things to discover and things which you can do. So either you can just stroll through the village and discover all the, the culture and the history, um, do some shopping, you can enjoy lovely gourmet foods or just the traditional foods. We have, as you see in the background, we have such a beautiful nature. Zermatt lies in the middle of the Swiss Alps and of course in front of all the Matterhorn. But around that, you have a lot of possibilities just to hike, do easy hikes, to do a little bit more advanced hiking. Even if you're adventurous, you will have a lot of options here around. So I'll give you just a little fact, for example. This is very typical for Zermatt and this region here. This is a, a, um, a start, we call it Stadel. And back in the days they had the hay and food up there. And can you guess for why this stone is here? This is that the mice cannot climb upwards to eat all the food. So it's a very logical and intelligent way of building houses and to save the food. So you know this, we walked through a really old part and you saw that it's, everything is on the outside still original. So it's, um, it's by law. But there is a possibility that you can rebuild everything on the inside as long as um, restrictions are um, 
or that you are within the restrictions. So that's a very good example here. So in Zermatt you get around really easy. As you see, everything is car free and we just have the electric cars. So it's really easy to go by foot or with the electro buses, the main public transport here in Zermatt, also electric buses, or you just go by bike or with the horse carriage. So don't worry, even if you don't ski, you got the chance in Zermatt to see this beautiful nature and mountain world around. You just get up with the peak to peak pass, which means you can go up by gondola to one peak to the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise, where you even have a site to the French and the Italian Alps, and you're the closest as possible to the border to Italy. And then you just go down by the gondolas and take the Gornegrad train up to the next peak to Gornegrad, where you also have a beautiful sight of the mountain world around and the glacier world in the back direction Monte Rosa. So, we hope that you could have some insights to Zermatt. We kept a little bit for ourselves because you just have to come and experience it by your own. So, we are very much looking forward to welcoming you soon. Bye!